first PF Chang and Scott Hill. I had uh, previously been in the restaurant business in Los Angeles uh, in the footsteps of my mother who started the Mandarin in San Francisco. And subsequently, she opened uh, the Mandarin in, uh, in Beverly Hills. By the way, I was asked yesterday by somebody uh, locally about the Mandarin. And I do have a little funny story. This is real quick. When the Mandarin became really popular in the U.S., it was knocked off, you know, a lot of people use the name Mandarin. And somebody here in Canada took the name and the menu that I had, my mother had, and actually said that they were part of my family. <laughs> and this was, it wasn't in Toronto, though. But anyway, so, there, you know, there, apparently there are Mandarins here, so I don't know. Somebody mentioned it yesterday to me, and I forgot all about it. Um, so we had nothing to do with that man. So, but I had uh, two restaurants in Beverly Hills, uh, and uh, a gentleman by the name of Paul Fleming, which is P.F., he was a customer of mine, and uh, he loved my food. And uh, he had been in the, in the uh, steakhouse business, and he moved to Scottsdale, Arizona. He said, there's no Chinese food like this. Would you please come in and help me open Chinese restaurant in Scottsdale, and that was 1992, and we opened our first uh, P.F. Chang in 1992, so that's how uh, we started. Uh, just briefly about the food, can you hear me back there? Right. Briefly about the food and why, why this food became special to P.F. Chang. Um, I had followed the footsteps of my mother, who grew up as an aristocrat in um, northern China, in Beijing and Shanghai. And uh, being an aristocrat, her food was, the Chinese food that she was used to, was sort of what we call the haute cuisine style Chinese food. Like French haute cuisine, this was Chinese haute cuisine. And our first restaurants in San Francisco introduced to at least the West Coast, uh, a Chinese uh, style that wasn't Cantonese, that was more typical of what um, was being served in America in those days. So she was sort of the, one of the first to do so. And it, you know, it, it um, people loved it. And uh, so it, she grew, you know, into a bigger restaurant, opened uh, Beverly Hills as well. And I sort of followed the footsteps, except for my taste, um, I grew up in Japan until I was a teen. And I like, I didn't like the fancier dishes. I like the simple dishes. So with my own restaurant, I sort of changed it, simplified it, cleaned it up. And uh, so that's what attracted Mr. Fleming. And so to this day, we, that's basically the basis of our concept at P.F. Chang is Chinese food. It's regional, but it's basically uh, simple and clean. And I can't say it's light, but because it, the flavor is very strong. But our dishes tend to have, you know, less oil than the typical, less starch, and you won't find a lot of dishes with a lot of sauce. So that became sort of the basis of the menu. And to this day, 70% of the, the menu that we have here at Pip Chang, and this is worldwide, we have over 200 restaurants now. Uh, in the States and as well as uh, internationally now. The food is all the same throughout the world. And basically the, um, uh, the idea to this day, 70% of our menu is the original menu that we started in 1992. So it, it says, you know, it speaks of something about our food. And you're gonna taste some of it tonight. And as the food comes out, I will try to share with you some thoughts about the food, and uh, I'm sure you'll have more questions, and I'll kind of, you know, come through and uh, speak to you individually if you have any questions. So please enjoy the evening, and thank you for coming. Thank you.